How is it going, databytes? There's no data here. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Roblox Assassin. Today in Assassin, there is a brand new Mythic Knight for us to get. I don't think this is part of the Easter event, but I believe this was added into the game. But it's been in the game for quite a while now, but I don't think we've really seen it until just now. So if you take a look in the time shop, you will actually see that there is a brand new Mythic Knight. That is right, guys, a brand new Mythic Knight. We have the Plasma Slayer Mythic Knight. Here it is right here. I believe this is is the first time we've seen it in the time shop this is a new mythic knife i think it's technically been in the game for quite a few days but obviously this is the first time it's shown up in the time shop so yeah guys in today's video we are going to buy this brand new knife we're going to try it out in battle and of course we're going to talk about its current and future value so if you guys are excited for this episode of assassin then be sure to drop a like on this video it helps out a whole lot and if you're a new be sure to subscribe for more assassin videos in the future also guys we have some no data merch flow link to that is in the description and don't forget to use star code purple when buying robux and roblox premium it really helps me out to continue making these videos for you guys all right and without further ado let's go ahead and buy this brand new mythic knife the plasma slayer mythic three two one boom there we go guys we just bought this brand new mythic so let's go ahead and try it out uh let me take a look at it first of all yeah as you can see it does not say easter unlike the other knives in this update so I'm pretty sure this is just a brand new mythic knife in the time shop. I don't really think it's limited time or anything. It's just a new mythic that you can buy whenever it is available. But yeah, let's go ahead and equip it. And there it is, guys, the plasma slayer. Let's go ahead and try this thing out. All right, and here it is, guys, the plasma slayer mythic knife. This is a mythic knife that you can get in the time shop. So as you guys know, whenever this timer hits zero, the shop refreshes with some new knives and the plasma slayer can show up. Up in that department so yeah as you can see it is just a nice blue sword you can see that the outside is completely gray and then the middle is blue and a little bit of purple here at the very bottom but you know this knife is mostly blue and yeah we got some pretty cool designs on it to be honest we got some blue dots on the knife as well which is pretty cool I really like the handle right here it kind of looks like an X with some blue in the middle I think that looks really really nice as well the very bottom of the handle also has a spike which is really nice and as you can see the plasma slayer does have an effect of its own you can see that there are some blue and purple clouds around the knife again it's mostly blue but there is a little bit of purple in there and then you could also see some blue dots appearing and disappearing around the knife as well it doesn't seem like there's a kill effect with this knife unfortunately i know the easter mythics actually do have their own kill effects and that was really cool to be honest to see some knives with their own kill effects it doesn't seem like the plasma slayer has its own kill effect but of course we can get our own effect to put on hmm maybe hypershock i feel like hypershock might be a decent effect for this knife i think splash might also be a pretty good effect as well pretty much anything that's blue if you have a nice blue kill effect i feel like it would be really fitting with the plasma slayer yeah this is more of electricity than plasma i, I don't know why i feel about this effect with this knife here you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with blue flames all right classic blue flames i'd imagine that's a somewhat fitting effect but yeah pretty much anything blue is probably fine but yeah overall this is a pretty cool mythic knife it's not too difficult to get you can get it in the time shop whenever it's available though it is going to be pretty expensive it's probably going to be around 20,000 tokens so yeah that's definitely a bit on the expensive side you're probably going to have to grind quite a bit for this knife if you want to get it for yourself and yeah we just want to match with this new mythic knife so that is awesome but yeah you are going to have to put quite a bit of effort to get this knife it's 18,000 right now, which I think is a bit on the low side, but I think typically it's around 20,000 tokens, which is definitely a lot of tokens to get. Not gonna lie, it is a lot of tokens to manage. Probably gonna take quite a few days to grind for this thing, but if you do get it, then you get a really nice mythic knife, which is awesome. And again, you have to get this from the time shop. It is not in any of the cases, so you are going to have to get it in the time shop, but it is a pretty cool knife, so it's worth it in most cases. Also, guys, a Another cool detail about the time shop is it has actually been organized a little bit. As you can see now with the time shop, you have the keys in the very front. I'm going to buy a key, by the way. But yeah, we have the keys in the very front, and then we have the mythics, and then the exotics, and then it just goes down all the way down to the commons. You can see that the commons are at the very bottom. So yeah, you can see the time shop is a lot more organized now, which is really nice because previously everything was kind of just all over the place. So like it was really, it was kind of difficult to find things it, it wasn't that difficult 
but it was a bit inconvenient. But now, as you can see, we have everything very organized. We have the keys in the front, and then we have all of the knives in descending rarity, which is really cool. So it should be a lot easier to find the knives that you want now because they're not scattered all over the place. I really like the effects on this knife, to be honest. I think it's the effects that really do it for me. This is just such a cool mythic knife. And again, it kind of just came out of nowhere. This could have been in the game for quite a few days now. Actually, I think it was in the game for quite a few days now, but it just never showed up in the time shop until now. So yeah, but yeah, guys, let's talk about the value of the Plasma Slayer mythic knife. What is this knife going to be worth? Now, at the time of this recording, the Plasma Slayer is actually not on the value list just yet. It has not been added into the value list. It's just too new of a knife to be added into the value list. Zigori just didn't put it there yet. That being said, this could be a really good mythic knife at first because again, this is a brand new mythic knife. Not a lot of people have it. A lot of people want it. And I feel like a lot of people have been spending their tokens on the Easter event. So I feel like people don't really have the tokens to like actually buy this mythic. So I'd imagine this could be pretty valuable at first, but that being said, I can imagine it going down in value over time as more and more people buy it. Because yeah, as time goes on, more people are going to buy this mythic knife. It's really Really not that hard to get you just gotta buy it in the time shop and there's really no luck involved or anything like that so i'd imagine the plasma slayer is probably going to end up going down to around four or five exotics that's typically what tier one mythics end up being worth mythics you can unbox or purchase from the time shop they typically end up being worth around four or five exotics so yeah that's a pretty decent knife to be worth that many exotics but i wouldn't trade that much for it all right if you're trading like a bunch of exotics then that's a bit ridiculous. I wouldn't really trade anything unobtainable. You know, there's a bunch of unobtainable exotics and I would not trade them away for Plasma Slayer. And to be honest, this is a really cool knife. Don't get me wrong, but I honestly wouldn't recommend that you buy it just yet. And the reason for that is I would honestly recommend that you use your tokens on the Easter event. We have the spring case right here. This is a limited time case for the Easter event. And this case is going away really soon, actually. So pretty soon you won't be able able to even like open this case and all of the knives in this case are actually going to become unobtainable and rare in the future. Whereas the Plasma Slayer, this is going to be around for quite a while. As you can see, it does not say Easter on it. So this is not a limited time knife. It's probably going to show up in the time shop a lot more often. So honestly, this is a pretty cool knife. But if you're watching it at the time of this recording, I honestly don't think you should buy it just yet. I would wait for the Easter event to end and then you can go for the Plasma Slayer if you want to get it but I would really just go for the spring case right now. That's really what you want to go for if you want that value because these are limited time knives. So they're going to be pretty valuable in the future. The Stone Ancient Mythic is definitely going to be a lot better than the Plasma Slayer Mythic. So do keep that in mind. You're probably going to want to go for this case first and then go for the Plasma Slayer a little bit later. But yeah, overall, this is a really cool Mythic knife and hopefully you can get your hands on it pretty soon. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Assassin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and know those other things that YouTube people do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.